Previously on me and Kimberly or Linda. Oh, I already ate my food. <laughs> the Hilton that I was telling you guys about the other day. Don't poop on my head. I want to show you guys what I got from my food. School is boring. Yeah. And you don't want to go. Why? Okay. You don't want to see your friend. You haven't seen your friends in a long time. Where my friends are. Still, the mom don't want to go because the mom wants a water slide with us. A water slide? Yeah. Well, it's too early in the morning to go to a water slide. With my friends? Yeah, it's too early. I mean, the water park is not open. Hmm? Not open. You want to wait until they open? Uh huh. So you don't want to go to school? Not boring. It's gonna be fun. Y'all gonna play a lot of games. <laughs> you, you gotta put your coat on first. Take your backpack off. Okay. You excited? Uh. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Well, I haven't seen my teacher yet. You haven't seen your teacher yet? Oh, but we're going to make this do this. We're going to do this, right? Yeah, we're going to do this. Because we're not quitters, right? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I am Kimberly, and in the back here, what's your name? Prince. Prince. This is our first day back to school, and Prince, how you feeling? Good. You feeling good? Cause you was crying earlier. You feel better now? Yeah. Because of the sun. Well, the sun's not out. It's a cloudy day. We have to get him to school by 8 o'clock. It is 740. Um, his school is about 5-6 minutes away. So we're good on time. But um, we're a lot later than what I would want us to be. Okay guys, we made it here. And um, we're just going to try to do something new. So this is a new year. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022 in Kimberly's life. Um, I want to start making sure that I pray before I send my kids off. I used to do it with my older kids, and I want to make sure I'm doing it with him as well. So, Prince, do you want to say anything it's to... Not I think that's Trenton. You think that's Trenton? Yeah. So, Prince, what do you want God to do for you today? You don't want me to go to work. Oh, you don't want my phone to break. Okay, so let's pray to God. Put your hands together. Dear God. Dear God. Please help mommy's phone not to break. Break. Help us to have a good day. Day. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for keeping our teachers safe and our friends safe. Help us to have a bright and sunny day, even though it's cloudy. What else? And seeing the cat. Seeing the cat. Bless all the animals of the world. And we have to make sure our food is really, really good and safe for us to eat. And get our dog. Our dog? Yep, Oreo. Oreo. Okay, protect Oreo. What else? Yeah. Yeah, yummy dog food for Oreo. But I thought Oreo was a robot dog. No, you know, it's a real dog. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. 
Okay. We thank you. We love you. We honor you. We praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. What are you supposed to say? No. Bruh. What are you supposed to say? A. Amen. Go ahead. Okay, people, we are back in the car. He always does. Well, not always. He started doing crying thing in the mornings. It's time for him to go to school. By the time he get in the car or by the time he get up to the school door, he's fine. I think he's just really attached to me. Once he starts to think about all the fun that he's going to have, he's fine. So I just have to get him to process the good things. So it's 8 o'clock. I am debating on going to get some coffee i do have coffee at home trying in the new year not to spend all my money at dunkin donuts and mcdonald's i'm trying okay but it was something i wanted to talk to you guys about and i have totally forgotten i i remember i remember what i wanted to talk to you about it was a little bit of a snowstorm a windstorm or some sort of like weather phenomenon it happened a couple days ago and i had i was on call from for work i was on call that week but this week honey stuff happened this new year came in with a bang at work i called in on sunday and monday which was a, a holiday for us that monday for us was a new year holiday a uh, company observed new year holiday i was supposed to be off i a call at 4 20 4 20 something in the morning to log on to my computer at work i work from home i was not a happy camper okay i ended up clocking out at 10 a.m i felt like my somebody was squeezing my brain like that's literally how i felt somebody was squeezing my brain mental health was just at risk so i decided to log off i told my sorry guys i don't know what i was saying my uh, ex called me so um it interrupted my video so i clocked out at 10 o'clock people on the phone have been very abusive They've been angry cursing and uh-uh we're not doing that not kimberly so my, my boss or the supervisor of the storm emergency storm team so her i was clocking out i didn't clock back on to the next day to yesterday right yesterday when i clocked in i saw all these emails do you know how long we would have been working had I stayed on? Would have been working like from 4 a.m. to noon. Then at noon, they wanted us to log off, take a break, and come back at 8 p.m. and work until 5 a.m. the next day. I am so glad that I decided to put my mental health first. There is no way I would have made it through that. There is no way I would have made it through all those hours and when i logged on i would i should have been off because i would have been released at 5 a.m but i logged on at like 7 30 and i was like hey i didn't do none of that stuff from yesterday working today okay i'm logging in today and i'm gonna work my normal shift today they had to change my schedule around or whatever because i didn't do the man it was mandatory but for me my mental health is more mandatory than answering some damn phones <laughs> i don't even know if i'm gonna put this part in the video but let me tell you something. You have to put your mental health first, honey. I don't care if it's your job, your family, your 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 boo thing, whatever it is, your kids. You have to you have to access the situation, figure out what's going to be the best for you. I was willing to take whatever punishment or consequence that's going to happen of me not complying <laughs> to their mandatory schedule. I'm willing to take it, whatever it is, but I'm going to continue to put my mental health first. I really love my job until something like this happens, and I, I feel like then they, they really overwork you. They really overwork the, the people that come to work when something like this happens. I knew this when I first started, but it's been 
some years now since I've been working here and I knew and, and back then I was like so excited just to have a job and I had been homeless and all that kind of stuff for a long time so I was willing to do whatever it took honey I was in a different mental health state nowadays after COVID and hit and been through some things it's no longer something that I'm willing to do I, I need I need another position I really do this position requires too much that I'm not willing to give. Oh, Y'all, I hate parking. Suck at it. I don't care what I do, I'm always crooked. If I'm not crooked, it's like a miracle. I'm trying to back in between two cars. Girl, pray for your car, cause there is a grand possibility that it might get scratched or bumped. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. I'm just bad at it. I made it home without stopping to get any food from anywhere. And I am starving. So we're going to figure something out. We're going to go inside and figure out what we're going to eat. Okay, guys. I am making something weird. So I got my instant coffee. Uh, and I got decaf because sometimes the caffeinated ones, I'm trying to kind of... Start out on my caffeine, you know. So I got this one, which is the Walmart brand decaffeinated medium, rich and smooth, classic coffee. Um, but then um, <laughs> I have coffee at home and creamer at home, but it's been so long. Like I keep getting coffee out instead of making it in. So my creamer went bad. Okay, a whole full thing of creamer went bad because I haven't been using it. Wasting money, right? So, since I don't have any creamer, I decided to put a packet of the Swiss Miss hot chocolate in here. So, we got a spoonful of the coffee and then a packet of Swiss Miss. And then I'm going to add some almond milk to that. And that's going to be my little coffee mix for today. And this cup, guys, I got it from a black-owned company called Legendary Roots. I will link it down below. It says, give yourself grace. Okay? Legendary Roots has a lot of really cool items that they sell on their site. Um, bookmarks, um, um, mats, and they all have these little... Um, like sayings or motivational quotes and things like that and I just love that it's a black owned company so I will link them down below let's taste this mmm that's a good combo mm -mm -mm. it's like a cafe mocha that's what it tastes like. So we did that. And we didn't have to go and spend no money. Use what you got. Alright, so I'm also going to make myself some eggs. I got my pan here. And I'm going to just kind of straighten up a bit. And make some eggs. And that's going to be my breakfast this morning.
because my eggs are done i really don't want to eat this much egg so i'm gonna say something for tj he may eat it he may not but that's that and i've been sitting here taking pictures of my collection because i need to put it up on the website i was working on the website yesterday and i um i just need pictures now so i was taking pictures of these think i'm still kind of tinkering with the name of the collection if you guys have any ideas about what you think i should name this collection because it's so gorgeous it's so simple and gorgeous and it's like this black and gold vibe i just don't know really what to name it i was thinking about simply golden i was thinking about golden life i was thinking about blackity black <laughs> like i don't know so when it hits me and i'm saying oh that's it that's going to be the name of the collection but right now i was just sitting here taking pictures of it i can put it up on the website this is the the flowers in the vase the vase that i bought i'm going to get rid of this one because this one is dead so i got to cut some of these off um so i just pulled one of the flowers out of here to use for taking photos of this and um i'm gonna put it up on the site today or tonight I'm going to start working on it today because I got about 30 minutes before I go to work. So, let's go to the office. Okay, guys. I'll put y'all right here. Alright. So, I should have dropped. I should have brought my tripod in here for this, but I'm not, I don't feel like going back out to get it. So, um, hopefully you can see my computer. Let me, let me turn y'all a little bit. Okay. All right, so last night I was working on my Shopify website. So y'all probably can't see nothing because this screen is white. Let's see. This is better. So I was working on my um, the names of the earrings and putting um, the earrings in. And then here's where you're supposed to add all the photos and everything. And we got the different styles you got the fish hook style and the hoop hook style you got the pricing in there and this is where it's going to look like if you put it um you know when you search for it in google that's the google description um it got tags up here so people can easily find it so i got black on uh, eccentric earrings black and gold earrings all of that so you pretty much do all of that and you save it um it's still a draft right now because i haven't published my site yet so everything is going to be in draft mode so i can continue to change it yeah but this is shopify i love shopify because it allows you to do so much stuff on here i can do discounts i can do uh, marketing i can look at my analytics i can look at my customers um it's so it's so user friendly so this is what we have one of the um um what is it called? One of the earrings that I have <clears throat> uploaded here. I'm going to continue to work on that um, while I am eating and before I go to work. Mm. I edit the photos in Lightroom. So I'm going to take the photos that I just, um, just snapped, edit them in Lightroom, and then upload it here to the website and tinker it a little bit. But I'm going to let you guys go now because I edit on my phone. And I record on my phone too. So I can't do both at the same time. So you guys stay tuned. And thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Uh, I hope, 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 I pray, pray, pray. That this is going to be a very successful um, and lucrative opportunity for me. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. A little piece of my life here and there as I sprinkle it on. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.